Do you want some basic tips and tricks for getting more from your supplies? Then keep watching. Hello there, Michelle Short here for Terrific Tags with Michelle. Today I have a vellum tag and card to share with you, along with some tips and tricks on how you can get more from your supplies. So let's get started. I'm starting off by stamping the Mini Delight Sweet Cluster image down onto some Classic Crest £110 Solar White cardstock. I'm stamping it with permanent black ink. This ink is really good for lots of different mediums and I'm just going to double stamp that so that I get a really nice dark impression. I'm then going to colour my image using artist alcohol markers. So I'm starting off by colouring the petals of the flower and I'm using the Sweet Dreams colour combination for this. I really love these lovely aqua colours and these are from the Water Garden set G. So I'm just going in with my darkest shade and I'm adding that to where I think the darkest portions of the petals would be. And for me, I think that that's the inside of the flowers. So this is very basic colouring. I like to colour darkest to lightest personally, but I know a lot of people like to colour lightest to darkest. It's just personal preference. So once I've added in the darkest shade here, I'm going to go in with the next shade and I'm going to kind of move that colour further out towards the tips of the petals. Just blending them together as I go. I apologise that you can't really see the tip of the marker with, when I'm colouring on camera. That's just unfortunate and it's the way that I hold the markers with my hands. If I do some alcohol marker colouring in the future on videos, which I hope to do, I will angle the camera slightly better. But as you can see here, I've gone then in with the second to lightest shade and I'm just blending that colour further out towards the tips of the petals. And then I can go in with my lightest shade and just add that lightest colour right on the very edge of the tips of the petals. Like I said, I really love these aqua tones. I just think they're so pretty. I know you don't really get aqua colours for, for flowers very often, but I quite often like to do something a bit different and colour flowers blue or aqua. I then didn't get quite a good of a blend as I'd hoped, so I'm going back in with the second to lightest shade and I'm just adding a little bit more of that onto the petals and then I can go back in with the lightest shade again and blend that out. So you can definitely add as many or as little layers as you want to get the blend that you like. I'm then taking two yellow shades. This is the Vanilla Cream from the same Water Garden set and Honey Drizzle from the Sunshine Valley Garden set and that's the F set. And then for the leaves, I'm using some green shades and I'm using the Green Valley collection from the Sunshine Valley Garden set F and that's for the bulk of the colouring, so the first four shades and then I'm using Frayed Leaf from the Cosmic Garden Set A set. And that's kind of what I wanted to speak to you about, is trying to get the most from your supplies. I often stick to the colour families. Altenu do such a great job of making colour families that I tend to stick to them. But you can definitely venture out with different inks, different markers and just have fun kind of combining them together. So I'm just finishing off my colouring here with the lightest shade at the top of the leaves and then I can cut that out using the Mini Delight Sweet Cluster die set. So then I'm just going to run that through my die cutting machine and then I'm also going to cut another of the dies just from some plain white cardstock and I'll show you why a little bit later. Next I can work on my sentiment and so the sentiment is from the sentiment strip stamp set and it's a lot longer in length than what I'm going to use. The sentiment actually reads sending you sweet birthday wishes but I knew that I was probably going to use the sentiment just saying birthday wishes a little bit more than the whole entire sentiment. So I'm happy to cut my 
sentiments apart. I know that not everyone loves to cut stamps apart, but I thought that I would get more use from it by cutting it down. Because like I said, I'm probably going to use just the birthday wishes a lot more than the whole entire sentiment, purely just for the design that I have on my cards. So don't feel like you can't because you can definitely butt them back up together and stamp them as intended if you wanted to. So I have just stamped that with embossing ink and heat embossed that. And now I have a terrific tags die and I've cut that from some vellum translucent paper. I really like cutting tags from vellum. You do have the problem though that you can see through them. So that's what we're gonna sort out a little bit later. I'm adding some instant dimension foam tape onto the back of the sweet cluster image. And then I'm going to adhere that down on top of the tag. I've then cut my sentiment down into a small strip and I can add that onto the tag as well. So I'm going to add some small strips of the instant dimension foam tape onto the right hand side of the sentiment and then I'm just going to use some glue tape on the left hand side where it overlaps the image. I do quite often like to overlap my sentiment strips with the images. I find that it kind of brings your eye to the focal point a little bit more, but again that's just personal preference. I love the look of vellum tags but you can see all of the adhesive through it on the back which isn't that nice to look at. So I'm going to take that die cut that I cut earlier and I'm going to use the back of it and because the back isn't as smooth as the front I'm just using a bone folder here just to push down those edges. You could run it back through a die cutting machine and that would flatten it out but I thought I would just use the bone folder for this one here. So that's going to stick on the back of the image and you're not going to be able to see that adhesive through it. So I'm just using some glue tape just to add that on and then I can stick that down and make sure that it's exactly level with the image at the front. And then I have cut a strip of black cardstock that I can add behind the sentiment. So I'm just bringing in a piece of blue paper here just so that I can see a bit easier where that sentiment strip is. So I can just cut that down and then I can add some glue tape onto the back of this piece. And then I can just kind of push that underneath. So I'm just bringing up that kind of image piece here so that I can pop it underneath and then that's going to look quite pretty from the back as well as the front. And you could also use that piece of white cardstock to write a message on if you wanted to as well. Next I've got this sentiment banner here that comes with the terrific tags set and I thought that I would use it to add kind of like a little tab onto the top of the tag. So I've cut that from some black cardstock with double sided adhesive sheet on the back. That's just so that I don't have to worry about messing around with glue and I'm just going to line the holes up where the hole is on the tag and then I can kind of have them so that they're really long at the top. I am going to cut it down but it's going to just add a little extra element onto that tag. So that wasn't how it was intended. I'm pretty certain that it was intended to be a sentiment strip but it's quite nice to change up your supplies like I said and use them in slightly different ways. So I've just cut that down and now I've got a little different element on the top of my tag and I can use that to be able to apply some twine through it. If I'd added twine just through the tag of the vellum it would have been quite difficult to secure it in place because the vellum obviously is quite a bit thinner than cardstock. It might have crumbled a little bit. So I'm just using that twine there just to make a bow at the top of the tag. And then once I'm happy with that, I can cut the tails of the bow down with some scissors. So what do you think about changing different products around? I do really like using things in different ways. Obviously, you don't want to do anything that's going to change the copyright with images or anything like that. But using these kind of products in this different way is really fun.
So I just want to add some embellishments onto the tag. So I'm using the pocket full of sunshine enamel dots and I'm just going to add a few onto the tag and this is just going to brighten up the tag and then bring that yellow colour from the middles of the flowers onto the tag as well. So just adding a few at the bottom there underneath the sentiment and then one at the top. And that's the tag finished for today, but I thought that I would add it onto a card as well because I know that not everyone loves having standalone tags. So I thought that I would probably put the tag onto a black card base. I thought that it would kind of really pop that vellum out, which would be quite pretty, but I want to add some interest onto the card base. So this is an A2 size card base with a finish size of four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And I'm using my bone folder here just to score lines into the card base at the front of the card base and from the inside it's debossing but on the outside it will be embossing so you get that really nice kind of embossed line so this is the debossed side which I think is really pretty in itself but when you turn it over you get that really lovely embossed lines the only downside is that it's quite difficult to see here on camera and it's also very difficult to see in the photos but in real life I think it just adds something extra onto the card so next I'm going to take the Essentials Black and White Paper Pack and I'm going to use this just to add embellishment onto the card. It's another way to use paper pads. I always think of using paper pads as different layers on your cards, but you can definitely cut you know, paper down and make them into embellishments. I'm just using some small strips of the paper here. I actually think that washi tape would have worked really well but I didn't have any the colour that I wanted to but I had this paper pad and so I thought that it would work really nicely for what I wanted it to to be used for and it's just going to anchor my tag onto the card I don't want it to look like it's kind of just floating on the card and if I add these small strips either side of the tag and you can see through them because I used the tag as with vellum it's just going to anchor that and just make it look like it was always meant to be on the card Although I'm just using small strips of the paper pad today, you could definitely maybe cut them into circles and use them as embellishments like you would enamel dots, or you could cut them into stars or anything like that. So definitely look at your paper pads a little differently. To adhere the tag onto the card, I'm just using some glue tape, adding that behind the sentiment strip, the little topper, and also the image so that you can't see the adhesive through it. And I've also just added another enamel dot to the left hand side. The tag does kind of lift up at the bottom. I'm not concerned about that. I think it just adds a little bit extra onto the card. But if you wanted to, you could probably get away with just adding a little bit extra adhesive at the bottom just to hold that down. And so that's the card finished for today as well as the tag. I really love the tag being vellum. It's just something a little bit different. And like I said, you could add that message onto the back of the tag if you wanted to. Links to the products that I used will be in the description box and also over on the Autonew blog, which will be a link to that in the description bar as well on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hello there crafty friend, Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques, and tutorials just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.